Oh, Man. oops, my headset, my headset's not muted. My bad. I was about to yell. He was about to. <laughs> Javi was about guys. to yell. Uh, the people need to hear. It. Say it with your chest, Javi. No, because it'll blow. It, it'll blow out the mic. <laughs> it will blow out this mixer. Like I'm not even joking. Oh no. All right, be right back. Okay, bye, Javi. <laughs> All right, All right Javi okay. has some uh, deeply repressed feelings about Little Mac. I, <laughs> I suppose. Uh, Little Mac. Ah. Uh, <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get right into it. We weren't able to see where game number one is, but it would be a safe guess to say some Pokemon Stadium 2. And if you guessed that, you would be correct. Uh, yes. So Mac, fast, but <laughs> anchored to the ground. Yeah, this is gonna be one of those matchups where on the ground, Ness is gonna have a hard time, but if he can get Ness, or sorry, Oh Little no, Mac, we just sleep. armored through the, the, the yeah. <laughs> down smash. Yeah, it's going to be very difficult. You know, Tempo, not one of those players to run in recklessly, especially with a character like Little Mac, who's just going to be diving in and out of your lane. In the armor, again, beating out the Fodor from Ness. Yeah, Tempo is doing a great job of using the armor to beat out these options. I mean, um, he really has to. What Lomac doesn't have a whole lot else aside from his, you know, fast frame data and armor. Yeah, we've seen a lot of players just get punished for choosing aggressive options to get back to stage oh, this time. Oh my god! And, and they're getting killed. Wow. Yeah. I mean, now this is the, dangerous. The, the, Nessus love to do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and he, oh, he gets him on the platform. That reaches just a little bit higher yeah. in this game than it used oh. to, and it reaches high enough and to shambles. cover those platforms. You can't be caught up there. It still goes through shield. It's very dangerous. You just have to force it out of Lil' Mac. Yeah, and I mean, Baxi's throwing out these fares, but Tempo could easily beat it without with his armor. Yeah. So, uh, great recovery right there. Still Tempo watch well. out. Maxi's doing his best to try and put these big hitboxes out to beat Lil Mac to the ledge. I don't. I'm assuming down smash or up smash wouldn't catch the upbeat just because he hasn't gone for it yet. Or maybe he's just a little scared of getting clipped, doesn't know, and is instead going for these big flashes. Okay, yeah. Maxi packing and piling on some damage here off stage, but he needs to kill at this point. He's starting to get something going now, but the KO punch is almost online here for Lil Mac. Uh, I doubt we'll even need to see it, especially when he's saying two stocks with 110% on yeah. backseat. A forward smash will be it. Max oh, we're, so we're counting small. KO punches now? Just like old times, huh? Wait. Uh, bro, look. have you seen Tempo's uh, tag? That's KH punches right there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a counter going for KO punches. Uh, that's... <laughs> That's, not, that's a thing that's counter. happening. That's I appreciate the counter. But now, are we going to see more than one is the question. How many can he get in this game number two? Can Baxi even take it to game number three? We did see him start to get a little bit of momentum in that game number two. Or game number one, rather. We did, and Tempo just snuffed it right out. Yeah, it was a little bit too late, but he does have a whole other two games to work with it at best, so if he's able to keep that momentum going, but it looks like he's just getting his shield pressured by Tempo right now. Yeah, Tempo weaving in and out like a boxer. Just getting all this damage. And yeah, down tilt to side B there. Do a confirm. Uh, okay, he goes for the F smash there. That I don't think that would have killed, but it would definitely, definitely big damage. big damage and send Ness back on side, off stage. And tell him to do it again. Oh, risky air dodge, but not getting punished by Tempo. Why is there no lag on that down smash? He immediately gets a forward tilt afterwards, and he goes know. under stage. How I that uh, down smash miss? I feel like he could have air dodged. Ness's air dodge is basically a third jump with how far it goes. It's crazy. Oh, oh, oh punch. here it is. Here it is. Oh, no. no okay, he loses, he loses it. it but <laughs> and we'll see another KO punch get up by the end of this match for sure. So. Yeah, we're basically guaranteed the second one online this game. Not like three, three bars on the way there. Back though, not Back gonna court. do it here on Town and City.
But he does okay, find out the side Back he needs there. more of these air edge guards if he's going to take this game. Yeah, I think he's realized his reserve, you know, go for a PK flash at the legend try and two frame in isn't working out when he can just go out there and hit him. And we're already seeing he's taking the lead now here. Okay, yeah, great movement coming out from backseat. He punishes and he's put himself in a position where he can win this. But, um, yeah, okay. Up smash. So up smash does beat out the upbeat and a great stock from backseat. Absolutely. Down throw, down throw. Ooh, okay, that combo uh, isn't true, and the upbeat comes out just fast enough to beat it out. Yeah, breaks, breaks that combo. Um, from a lot of lower level max, we see counter spam, but upbeat is also a great uh, combo breaking tool. Yeah, and the high, right cover, high recovery right there from Baxi, avoiding the down smash. Yeah, Tepo is... Ooh, oh. That was angled down, so it has more damage but less knockback, meaning Baxi stays alive, but the FL will kill. All right, and that KO punch is almost out again. Wouldn't it be a shame if he closed it out with this? Okay, oh, the fire, no. that's big. He's still got it, and it's and gone, and he gone. misses a tech. Okay. All right, and now okay. Baxi taking his tech. Game number three here. That Baxi. second stock was such a big swing in the momentum there. You know, he was losing and losing, and then all of a sudden, he's just winning. He gets a huge string on tempo and wins. Yeah, Mac is definitely one of those characters that gets comboed really hard. His recovery is not great. great. So, you know, if you're down against it all, Mac, you, you still have plenty of opportunities to get back in the game. Um, and uh, Baxi just showing, an, uh, showing us that uh, this character has some weaknesses, for sure. Yeah, we're going back to Pokemon Stadium number two here. For this game three, we do not have DSR in effect here in SoCal, so it's perfectly legal here for Tempo. That's right. Off tilt's gonna be a big damage. He reads the near aggressive landing. Down throw goes for the fair game, but doesn't connect. Baxi. Yeah, I'd like to see Baxi use some more of these PK fires. It's a little risky, but in, in terms of the reward and just stuffing out and frustrating tempo, I think it'll go a long way to help him win this match because uh, Max's approaches are all going to be, you know, you're not going to see a lot of jumps yeah. from him, right? And as we say that, he jumps over the PK fire with the side beam and it leads to the star. That's right. Well, that's the risk you take. But overall, I think it's a good tool for uh, for Ness in this matchup. F tilts, and we're seeing a lot of F tilts to call out these jumps. He just punches him in the in the gut right there for using the yeah you know, PSI magnet. He's just a kid. Tempo, come on. I pay KO, KO punch. punch. Oh. That's number two right there for Tempo here in this set. <laughs> and a uh, quick response there for Baxi, able to at least take one stock, but now he is still down a full stock here. Moving PK fires here. Baxi's starting to play a little bit more defensively, not running into Lil Mac quite as much. He's starting to shield and go for some better out of shield punishes. He's getting a is lot it, of damage here. I think Tempo just might yeah, be dead here. He doesn't have a jump. And now we're on last stock apiece. Baxi with a quick stock right there, evening out this game. Yeah, that was quite the reversal out there for Baxi. And let's see if he can do what he did in the last game and just close this out again. I feel like we'll be seeing a lot more patience here from Tempo. It's really what's biting him in the buzz when he's approaching Baxi and then getting punished for it. But Baxi doesn't really have a good option to approach him with. We're seeing a lot of unsafe moves from Tempo, though. He's starting to get a little desperate. With it. Yeah, Baxi's doing a much better job of sort of camping Tempo out. But now he's at, at Baxi is at a percent where uh, this game could end very quickly. Yeah, honestly, for either of them, the KO Punch is almost online once again. Definitely, and, and uh, just sending Tempo off stage or, or getting one of these strings could put him in a very bad spot here. Oh, okay. I, I don't think we'll see the KO punch unless he's 100% sure it'll work. Just because that move is actually pretty laggy on with, that if he uses it, wait, this could be it. 
The PK Thunder doesn't come around. We saw that take the last stock, but he wasn't able to do it. He's, that F tilt shield poking kept Tempo alive. If he it got shielded there, we've seen enough back airs out of shield to know how it would have gone. Yeah, oh, his PK fires are so good coming out from Baxi. And oh. Baxi takes it. Yes. I think the PK flush, it only worked one time that set, no matter how many times he went for it, but finally worked to close out game number three, and he takes it. And could have Tempo drop low there, I think? Yeah. It's low like Mac, he didn't he, have he a lot can't of options. Really drop that low, it's Little Mac, you know? Yeah. There's not a whole lot he can do. Maybe air dodge there, but PK flash lasts for a long time, actually. It may have just beat the air dodge. Right, yeah, I think that. Either way, yeah, Mac. Off, st off stage Mac. Not very unfortunate for Tempo. You know, he started that set out very strong, but he wasn't able to close. I mean, we definitely saw the. Uh, I think that was a pretty good display of the strengths and the weaknesses of this character. Yeah, so coming in, in swinging, and then. It really felt like he started to get a little too aggressive in the end. You know, he would run up and F tilt his shield, get punished for it. it He'd get back on stage and they'd run up and F tilt his shield again, just trying over and over and make something work instead of letting it happen now. Right, and as the game progressed, I think we saw the punishes come in a lot stronger. The edge guarding yeah, it was a lot. Yeah, and once Baxi more. started feeling more comfortable right. with the matchup, you know, saying, okay, I'm getting my hits and now, you know, these are working for me now, I'm more willing to try different things to keep the pressure on instead of just trying to reset and figure it out. All right, and. And sort of towards the end of that, uh, Baxi started to, to camp him out a little bit, I think, just to maybe get his head 